Oh no, Mary went somewhere. Yeah. Probably. People are playing uh, games on the fourth floor, so it's probably what she's doing. Gotcha. All right. Um, so we'll go back real quick. Uh, we'll just do a quick intro and get through what we need to. Um, last we left off, everybody had fallen into a after bar brawl uh, coma hangover um, and has been sleeping on the floor of the pub. Uh, the treants that you all befriended, or, well, Atham's friends that you had also befriended to Atham and already had them as friends, um, are still sitting in the hull that had spawned from eating uh, Lazarus, or drinking Lazarus earlier. Uh, cool name, Wait, by the way. that hole was real? That was real, yeah, no, like... Oh, the, okay. I assume that was a trip. <laughs> no, Lazarus goes crazy, man. Um, okay. Where did the Lazarus come from again? Did they find it, or like, did I, did Eb have it? Um, it was a drink you can order. It's like a, it's a Rhodian drink that's very popular. Um, and it digs a hole in the ground. It's it, like it's distilled wild ma magic, basically. It's like since they're so druidic in Rhodia that it, they, the first distilled drink basically was like magic life was, plant essence. I love it. It was just liquid magic. So, yeah, when you drink it, pretty much every time, if you have a strong enough amount, you will basically have a roll on the wild magic table, and it will do something. And you roll to have a chasm open up beneath you. Um, so that was real. Okay. Yeah, but I was sitting on the treants, so I was fine. Exactly. Um, you were very lucky in that. I think it was kind of weird in the way that it actually worked out well, where um, I think Eb rolled to turn into a tree. Um, Oh, yeah. Zen rolled to have all the plant life grow rapidly around them, which then caused the trance and subsequently ebb to grow rapidly. And then you had the chasm open up, but basically the, the ends filled in the hole for you guys. So it all actually worked out surprisingly well. It was kind of weird. Um, so we made a hole in the ground and then immediately filled it in. Yeah, but you basically just planted a bunch of trees. So. You help the environment. Good job. Excellent. Damn, mm. it's so bad for Eb's reputation. <laughs> well, I like how you were you were you were being honest last thing. You actually you've been on a good moral streak recently. You gave back the item you stole, and then Cameron immediately uh, threatened the man with death for asking for his property back. Yeah, unwittingly, Eb is becoming more moral, and I'm mad about it. I refuse uh -huh. to let Ed be moral. You know, that was that was a good thing. If you remember your first moral choice started off with your aunt um you telling the truth without 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 her knowing actually, which was good. I actually was surprised that you decided to do the, the right thing without knowing that she was there. Um so that was really cool of you. Um and now you've slowly been been uh healing yourself. Um your soul. Uh you guys got in a bar fight. Um, you still have your your uh, bracelet of weaving because um, uh, Cameron put it back in your Atham put it back in your pocket. Without you noticing, um, Atham, you were fighting with Uncle Festog, as in like fighting alongside him, not with him. Um, mm. He won your your yearly contest this time, quote unquote yearly. We'll say it's on some kind of other year year thing. Don't fucking do the calendar shit with me again, both of you. Um, and then, uh, you had a conversation with Lear, if I remember correctly, Eb, right? It's been a while, so maybe we'll go back over that, but uh, I think you did. Um, I feel like that happened. Like, Lear was sitting alone, and Eb was like, hey, what's up? And he was like, well, if you were by the, weeks. yeah, by the tree ends, that's where Lear was hiding, right? Yeah, and I think it was kind of like that, and then I think I was going originally to have him tell you to fuck off, but then you rolled exponentially high on your, like, charisma check, so I was like, god damn it. Um, Eb actually has Everyone a weirdly... Eb. I mean, honestly, it's you get very, very lucky rolls with the random bullshit you do, which is surprising. The universe um, wants Eb to do random bullshit. That's true, it's true. A little gremlin. Um... 
Mm-hmm. Atham tried to find Lear, couldn't do it, found Manthus instead. Uh, didn't care about Manthus and left them alone. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, Mantis is there as an owl, and someone was trying to point it out to me, like, "Oh, they care about you." And Eb was like, "I don't care about no owl." <laughs> but Man- Mantis is 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 a arcane trickster, so um, they were there as an owl, kind of, but like it's the owl is their familiar. Um, oh, so they were seeing through its eyes. Yes, yes, exactly. So mm. um, that's that showed up. It shows up wherever they go. So in, in the future, um, I forgot that. Most most arcane users will have a familiar, at least wizarding school people kind of will, and the arcane trickster is kind of more of a wizard than not, I guess. So they have familiars occasionally. Uh, so if an owl ever shows up in the future, that's going to be kind of a hint, a hint that Mantis is around uh, as a point of reference. Um, so why don't you guys tell me the bar fight ended? It, there's a, there's a charm on the um, uh, over the, the gold, entire golden pony. That you can't really hurt other people while in there. You just get to kind of rough each other up in a fun way with, you know, slight pain just to make it interesting. Um, and you get stronger the drunker you are. And you guys all kind of beat the shit out of the rest of the party as you got progressively drunker. Or the rest of the patrons. So why don't we start with you guys telling me um, where you guys think you're ending up waking up after a night of, of drinking debauchery. Well, Adam doesn't wake up. He's uh, he never went to sleep. He doesn't sleep, right? So, I mean, uh, uh, if you think he got drunk enough, you might. But it's up to you. Well, Atham wakes up and is so disoriented because he hasn't slept in three hundred years. Okay, yeah, that's funny. We're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, what? <laughs> who drugged me? <laughs> yeah, no, unconsciousness. Not something Atham's familiar with. So um, yeah, no, it's, it just wakes up at like in the by the bar, you know. Everyone else passed out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to say Eb found like an empty keg barrel and is curled up inside it. Like she fell into the barrel and fell asleep and just decided to go with it. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's like an echo of her snoring. So you're in a you're in a metal keg, um, and you've been you've curled up in there, and Eb is canonically a snorer who is is just when Eb gets drunk enough, she starts snoring, and so it's like, and there's all of the echoing. Sounds like a beast growling um, a bit in in uh, in the corner there, wherever Eb is. Um, so you guys can wake up you if you want to survey the scene a bit. Um, we'll say thematically that Cyril and Zinn are such lightweights that they're still drunk asleep. Um, everybody else is kind of passed out. You can see the orderlies uh, kind of cleaning up. The the uh, what's called the tavern is slowly repair, repairing itself after everything. Uh, the tree ants are just chilling. Um, Lear is still sitting against the wall drinking coffee as, as he has been for the entire night, it seems. Um, and, uh, just with a scowl on his face. Um, and yeah, so we'll say that Uncle Festog, if you would like to interact with him, he's also sleeping. Um, he's next to you. Uh, I, I have a, he, he's... I have a feeling he downed twice as much drink, so I, th- I think Uncle Festa is probably just going to sleep for like a good like two days or something. I think I feel like yeah. that's what he would do. He is known for his his. Uh... So yeah, I think guys, Atham will get him up to a, like a private room where he can just stay there for a while. Um, mm-hmm. um, and then I guess well, we should probably be on our way to New Xanter. Um we have the horses, right? We'll just put, uh, we'll just <laughs> throw uh, Zin and Cyril on the horses while we travel. Yeah, yeah. Apollos, the guy, the three-armed guy, comes in and he's like, "Oh yeah, you guys, uh, you ready to go?" Um, who is the uh, the agent from Antonia, mm-hmm. if you remember? Um, and Cobalt, uh, the the uh, rock man, uh, concierge, host, hostess, however you want, whatever you want to call them, uh, doesn't really have a gender. He's a rock person um 
it's like, oh yes, let me collect your things for you, sir. We'll 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 put them in your um your checked uh, luggage and um uh, what's it called a valet uh, or oh, horses. Um, chop, chop, and he slaps his hands together and it makes a very unpleasant just rocks tapping against each other sound like two things of granite like snapping. Um, wakes up with a shout within her barrel. <laughs> ah! Oh. No, there she is. You just see her head out of the top of the keg. What's going on? I can um, shine. Would any of you like a, a complimentary uh, hangover cure? Hmm. So badly. She's like, I know how to party. Indeed, they do at once, my lady. And he immediately, um, like, snaps his fingers and uh, a bunch of, or they immediately snap their fingers and immediately a bunch of water and soap um, actually uh, go into the keg with you. And he places a metal uh, a top on it and starts shaking you up a lot. Oh, I thought. <laughs> I thought you were going to say a washboard. <laughs> <laughs> and Eb gets, like, wrung out on the washboard. You know what? That's funny. Uh, he puts a washboard in there and starts pulling you through it magically. You kind of look like that paper kid from no, that children's ah, book. Ah, a bath? No! No baths! <laughs> He's like, my, have some my toast. Lady. Okay, it's sure. My lady, no, please. It, it, it is a magical bath. You, you're... you're we, we do not d- uh, deign to disturb the stench of any of our clients. It is the Golden Pony's guarantee. Phew! I was worried. Um, so you get pulled through the... the um, you get put on the washboard, and he also pulls you through one of like the metal like uh, rollers. And, like, uh, yeah. Exactly. And you kind of look like Paper Stanley or whatever the hell that, that character's name is uh, for a second. And as you do on the other side, um, all of the... Uh, toxins and juices from last night are, are slowly pulled out of you and you come out on the other ride you're definitely not any cleaner but all of a sudden your head and your body feel much lighter um, and you feel feel like your head is no longer pounding um, at them you get two pieces of complimentary uh, rye toast um, on a little plate that it's lukewarm excellent the optimal temperature Whoa, so we all get a different wake-up plan? Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, sir, sir, um, oh, what was, what did you say your name was in this, uh, in the century last time you had been here? Uh, a couple centuries, Balthazar. Uh, sir Balthazar, it, uh, doesn't, uh, usually get hungover, so he's, he's stated that pieces of rye toast at lukewarm temperature are the perfect, uh, morning wake-up call. Eb tries to steal a piece of toast, but her hands are very wet. Nice. I just imagine everything nice. gets soggy. There's soap on the toast now. You can have it. She leaves little wet footprints behind her. <laughs> like, oh, man. Apollos is like, damn, they've got real luxuries here. As he looks at the, the lukewarm toast, um, and he grabs, uh, with his three arms, he grabs Cyril, throws him over one of his shoulders, and then also Zin and two of his other arms. It's like, uh, yeah, I'll bring these out to our uh, our valet horses real quick for you guys. Um, and it starts mm. taking them out. Be sure you tag them so we don't lose them. I don't like losing luggage. He's like, all right. He bounces uh, Cyril. He takes out a, a, like a bright red tag and slaps <laughs> it on the back of Zinn and, uh, and then on the forehead of Cyril. Um, and uh, they, they hang down with like the, the little... Um, Thing you get at airports where like they'll they'll tag your luggage with like yeah, yeah that's right exactly there. what I meant yeah <laughs> exactly perfect. Okay, perfect um and so he starts bringing them outside uh Lear just kind of rolls his eyes and starts walking out uh, with you guys uh, and yeah the, the as the um as the horses are getting brought out from the stables is there <laughs> um. As the uh, as the horses are getting taken out, oh, oh that's right. So I feel bad. Soph is probably the most like bombastically doesn't want to miss anything. So she's probably gonna be a little angry. We started. <laughs> that's why we have the recording. Yeah, I'll remind yeah. her of that. So sad. I just got out of class. Uh, I have well, to find a better day. It's. I, th- I think this is going to work out fine, actually. And in fact. 
Uh, you guys have an annoying habit of you don't like to talk to each other like uh, mature, like emotionally mature human beings, or I guess beings, I should say. Um, but you like to meddle in each other's business, and none of you like to act like your your characters didn't hear anything that the other characters have said in private. So this way, you will actually will be ignorant of what's happening while the session goes on if there is something privately said. Um, no. Yeah, no, this is going to be great so for harder. real. Exactly. This is going to make it so much better when you listen back and you're like, you say something that's like really insensitive to someone because they just said their mom's dead and you like make a your mom joke without knowing that they just talked about their mom not their mom dying or something like that. And it will be hilarious. An oddly specific example. Well, that's like the best one I can think of. I'm sure we've all. I mean, I'm sure we all know about that. We all have mothers. I mean, like, you know, that's something that can happen. Mom jokes are very common. So I feel like that's that's just an easy example to all come right. up with. Uh, yes, I think we're um, We all to... have mothers? I don't think Eb has a mother. I, oh my uh, god. We all have biological, well, no, not even those characters do. Uh, some characters are just born from, like, Stardust or some shit. Fine. The point is, is that it will be funny when somebody makes that that mistake. And now I'm going to be especially hard on you two because you're apparently I, none of my examples are good enough for you fucks. So anyway, um, is there anything you two want to do before you guys head out? Um, not trying to hint at anything. Just is there anything you guys want to do before you leave the cold? Opponent? Eb wants to draw on Zin's face while he's still asleep. Because Cyril's not awake to tell her no. And it would be really funny. Atham's too busy reading the note he got uh, last session, so uh, mm-hmm. go ahead. No, oh, Slut Craig has got me. It's too late. Um, do you want me to roll for how good it is, or should I explain and then roll? That's what I was going to say. Is it, Explain what you want to do and then roll a performance check. Okay, so. This is innovation. <laughs> Uh, Eb's gonna take just like, you know, a tier C equivalent of a Sharpie. Uh, fantasy Sharpay, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then it's like a very pretty angel boy. What would, what would Eb do? I feel like Eb's gonna give him she's gonna, gonna draw glasses. Just like round Harry Potter glasses. Okay, cool. Yeah, give him the old uh, Jigglypuff special. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. And anything else, or is that it? If it, that's all, you can roll your um, your performance check. Hmm. I'm trying to think if that should be all. Or would she do, like... I'll say that as soon as Soph gets here, Zin's gonna wake up, so he better hurry. I know, I know, I know. I think... Uh, we're gonna have to do just uh, glasses, and then like Eb draws a smile on. Okay, that, that's pretty good. I like that. All right, give me a give, give me a, a d twenty roll if you have them on. If not, I can roll for you um, for a performance check. I'm getting it. It's loading. Boom. Boom. Oh, 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 prepare to get wrecked. A 23. Damn, yeah, that's that's way higher than I was going to have as your limit for doing it well. So, yeah, you, you draw in, like, very... Well, do you want this to be shitty, or do you want this to, like, actually be, like, good drawing? I think... Uh... Like, the glasses are drawn really, really, really well, like, detailed. Mm -hmm. And then the smiley face is this weird, like, jagged, kind of scary smile. It's a Joker-esque smile. We live in a society type thing. Yeah, a Joker-esque smile. Just because, like, it looks horrible because Zinn's got an actual mouth. So, like, it doesn't line up properly. (laughs) Eb's never seen him smile, so she doesn't know what it would look like to draw out. Good, good. Uh, so yeah, it's it's definitely. It looks like it, it looks almost like Zinn has actually got like a prescription pair of glasses on right now. But then it also looks like he's 
wrinkled his face in a weird way around his his dimples. Um, and looks like somebody Calling took it now, a... Cyril's gonna think Zen looks cute in glasses. No comment. Uh, and with that, they continue slumbering on as uh, they're set on the back of uh, some of the horses as you guys start riding toward um, New Xanter. Uh, with that said, uh, it's pretty peaceful and calm as you guys ride through the day. Uh, Atham is studying his uh, notes. Um, he is absorbed in it, I guess, as he was saying before. Uh, Lear is kind of quiet. Uh, Apollos is just kind of, uh, you know, doing his duty and is looking around, um, leading you guys from the front as he notices the way back. Um, and as you guys kind of, um, make your way more, uh, toward this, uh, to the south, um, I guess that would be southeast, um, you see that there are, there's smoke in the distance, uh, rising up over kind of the horizon. And there is what appears to be a kind of caravan of sorts in the distance. Um, and as you get closer, it looks um, a little like kind of ramshackled carts and people carrying stuff on their back. And as you get closer, de people definitely look like they're kind of just, it doesn't look like it's a professional caravan. It looks like people who are trying to get away from something uh, a lot of them are dirty. Um, a lot of some of them are wounded with uh, hastily treated wounds, things of like that nature. Um, as you guys are kind of going out, um, and they are keep going. They don't exactly stop as they see you, but um, they're just going to keep walking in uh, as as they kind of you start coming on them. You start coming on them. I knew you were going to say uh, some shit like that. I will kick you out of this server. I, I, I tried to get my thought in first. <laughs> it's, it's my fault. Uh, Thank God. Um, so, okay. So, so, <laughs> um, so did you say, so are they leaving New Xanter? Are they, like, direction-wise, are they leaving or going towards New Xanter? They're going away from New Xanter. At least these people are. Okay. Uh, do I see any officials? Of any kind? Is it or is it just ragtag? Hey, hey yo. Hello. Hey you, you're finally awake. Um anything. Don't worry about it. You it's, it's all it's all good. Um we've got Slut Craig for you. Um you'll be able to hear the beginning in a bit. Um one second. I'll wait for you to fix your Well, no one was speaking. Oh, guys, um, I'm not going to tell her that her, her character has glasses and stuff drawn on her face unless oh, yeah. I come and let. Yeah, okay. So yeah. unless she comes up um, and figures it out, uh, I'm going to keep letting it go until she, for some reason, w would see it or Cyril might tell. Uh, nobody else do it, okay? Mm. I, I mean, unless you want to. Unless you want to. What the heck? Can you hear us? Hear us? Hello. Hello. Testing. So? We can testing, hear you. Testing. Let's try this. Oh, fair There point. we go. Can you hear us? Hi, guys. Yay. What I miss? Uh, you'll have to check that on the, uh, the Craig recording. I can't check that until later. Uh, get on, get yeah. on Max then to, to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell Max to hurry up. But um, basically, we'll start is that um, Zin kind of is lying down. He's feeling like crap. Uh, your eyes slowly open as you um, see the world. And as you do, you can see there's dirt below you. Uh, there's trees across from you. Uh, everything's kind of upside down and it's bumping a lot for some reason. Um, and you hear the sound of cartwheels be clunking along and the sound of a lot of feet uh, moving as you kind of awake. Um, 
Okay. Uh, uh, can I like shoot up? I'm like in the dirt or on the dirt? Uh, you're not on either. If you want to shoot up, you kind of uh, give me a quick dex save. Okay. I want to shoot up because I'm like, what the fuck is happening? I knew you were going <laughs> to. I didn't see the M thing either. That's, that's funny. This is a bad idea. I don't know what's happening. I'm being taken away. Or who, who is taking me away? Deloreal uh, corporate agents found Zinn and they're taking him to their labs to find new conditioner recipe. Oh, where the heck are my dice? Yeah, they're this gonna find out what makes his hair so luxurious. Exactly. They're they're That's the conditioner. This is what the corporate takeover shall really be about. Okay, okay, okay. I got like a deck save? Mm hmm. That's an easy one. Okay. A dirty 20. Okay, yeah, you're, you're totally fine. Um, you shoot up, you start to lose your balance, but then you steady yourself on, uh, on something, and you feel leather, you feel. Um, warm warm hair uh and you realize that you're on the back side of a horse and you've been kind of taken along and you it's it's the horse of uh we'll say that you're on apollos's horse and that uh cyril is over across from you on lear's horse uh cyril is still a little uh, out of it and hung over and has been is being transported on the back of the horse and you see that you're in the same position you're now kind of like standing sitting up on um the back of this horse as it's trotting along not at too super fast speed um and oh. yeah what the where am i what's happening what huh uh, Apollo Sigmund turns like, oh yeah, um, the guys just told, mentioned that uh, uh, you were going to be a little hungover, so uh, we we stuck her in the back of the horses so we could get on the way toward New Zanter. Uh, how are you feeling? What? Uh, Apollo raises t uh, two of his hands with one still on the rein and says, uh, yeah, Apollo, um, top ranger of Antonia Secret Services. I thought we kind of went over that. Uh, or, well, you did have a lot to drink. That's fair. Um, Agent of Gideon. No, any of this okay. ringing about? Where are you? Where are you? Wait. So what's happening? Are, wait, wait. First of all, out of character. Where are the other two? Are they on horses? Oh, yeah, the horses right behind you. They're you're fine. Okay, so I can see yeah. that. I just thought I couldn't. I just thought they were gone. That was with this weird, like, what is he a snake As lizard man? As you, yeah, he's he's a, a lizard man. Um, as sure. you as you are able to kind of look around, um, you are able to see that as you say, like, where are you taking me? Where are the others? You can turn around and you see Atham and Eb, Eb and Atham. If you want to explain what you're you doing, you care about us. No. <laughs> Eb starts giggling. I was just trying to make sure it wasn't being kidnapped by some weird looking lizard man. Wow, rude. Yeah, man, you shouldn't be one to talk about looks. <laughs> it's all right. I'm used to it, uh, Apollo says as he turns back around. Did Ev try to call me ugly? I um, will not stand for you making fun of Apollos. She loves, she, she loves him. Um, I don't know. Actually, uh, Eb is objectively wrong. So, so Zin is just kind of like what? Like he just doesn't get it. He doesn't get. He doesn't get the point because he is. It's she's wrong. He's the prettiest, prettiest boy ever. He's the Zin thinks he's the prettiest boy ever. Well, he knows he is. He doesn't have to, like, he doesn't think about it much. He just knows he is. That's what everyone, you know, looks in the mirror and everyone tells him. It's like a pretty obvious. Everyone. Cyril. I don't want my mom says. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not me. I mean, it's just for reference, um, Apollos is, a, is like a, a, a gecko kind of looking character um, with, with what looks to be like kind of a. Um, mutated or you know, mutation that allows him to have a third arm right under his uh other left arm 
Um, so he's a little weird looking, but he is, he is, I mean, if you've ever seen a gecko, they are kind of cute. So it would stand to reason that Ed does, does like him just because he looks like a cute pet. He's also mm-hmm. green, I'm assuming, or some sort of color like that. Ebony sure. Is his kinship. It will, we'll say that he's a, um, a lime green. Why not? Oh, yeah, so he's a lime green. The thing is, I feel like Zinn is not very well acquainted with lizards. So he knows of them. He's maybe seen a few of them, but he just sees Lizard Man. It's a big lizard, and it's just kind of weird to him. So that's kind of his logic. That's why he's like, it's a weird Lizard Man. He's, he's, he's not very well acquainted with it. I mean, I, you've, you've, sp- you've spent like the last year and a half of us playing this campaign saying every time that Zinn is racist. So, I mean, I'm, it's totally in character yeah, for you not to, to like it. I know that. Not racist. She's no, trying to justify racism. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just clarifying. I, I think Zinn is what the kids call based. He's kind of based. He's kind of not afraid to say what he sees and what he thinks because he's a closed minded little rich boy who doesn't really know any better. Oh, you don't like that moon snowflake? You don't like that, you stupid snowflakes? Well, you also look like a weird lizard man. Go eat a fly or something. Are you saying this in character to Ed? No, I'm just saying it out loud. In- I was going to say, that would be really rude to Apollos to say that right behind him. No, 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 I'm just saying this to- Okay, anyways, continue with the campaign. <laughs> okay. Um, by the way, as you guys are kind of going, um, you, you guys um, do uh, start passing these people that are on the road. And so, Zin, you also see them. I was, I was describing the you others. Know, there's like a kind of ramshackle caravan where people are taking, you know, wagons, uh, wheelbarrows, just uh, whatever it seems. They're not like professionals who are doing transport. It just seems like there are people who have some wounds, some people who are dirty and just picked up. Some of them look fine, um, but a bunch of people are, are seem to be going away, and there is some smoke in the distance that you see. Ooh, bath is done. Um, is there anybody who, if uh, nobody wants to say anything to them, I would like everybody to make a perception check, though, real quick. Wait, no, wait, wait, yeah, wait. I, are these people passing us? Yeah. You want to say? I just want to... I mean, I'm not, when I ask those things, I'm just making sure that I can do the next thing. I'm not saying you guys should say something to them. Oh, okay, I never mind. I continue. Yeah, yeah I no, I definitely want to study them. Plus, that I had to kill them first. No, don't kill them, please. I have to kill everyone who opposes me in my church. Uh, yeah, everybody roll perception checks after she says that. I know that wasn't in character, but that's, let's just, yeah, definitely roll perception. What? Uh, I need it to load one sec. No worries. Uh, 24. Not one. Oof. If I um, add my perception, it's nine, but uh, yeah, now one. Nice perception. Uh, what about you, Zen? Oh, what am I rolling? Uh, perception. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like, I know it's like a plus one or something, right? Okay, four. Oh, God. Okay, so for Zen and Ev, you guys don't really know, I guess, how normal people move. So maybe you just think these are people moving to new houses, or they're having a party, or they're going... Maybe you think they're going back to the the, 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 the pub that you guys were just at. I don't exactly know what your characters would be thinking with such low perception rolls. But, um, Atham, you see that as these characters are passing um, their... Um, uh, the, you guys uh, on the horses, they don't really seem to be saying or like looking at you guys in particular like looking for you if that makes sense but um like they don't need people to be rescued they're still going on their way but um when they see 
Lear and Zinn specifically, Cyril's still kind of fucked fucked up, so like they can't really mm -hmm. I guess he's not noticeable. Um they seem to kind of tense up. They seem to get very nervous. Um I wanna I feel like when they're passing I'm just gonna like glare them down. Just look at them like in like in my way and fashion where I'm kind of intimidating. I'm kind of just like judging them, but just Zinn is dumb and he's just watching these people move like what? So I hope it You you see Adam that they get infinitely more scared as as soon yeah, as Yeah, no, I, I, I think I've I think I've got a good idea of what's going on here. Right. Okay. Um, Why are you happy about is this? The, uh, are, so is the smoke coming from the direction of New Xanter? Uh, yeah, it is. Um, All right, good. Ye, um, Wait, is this what the ceiling ceremony was supposed to be? Uh, no uh, comment. Perfect. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, no, 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 you know. All right, so... If you guys seem to not, two of them don't understand, you don't say anything, um, you guys are going to keep going, and you eventually come up on two decently high-ranking, what looks to be um, decently high-ranking uh, paladins of the uh, Church of Purity. Oh, my favorite. Is it evil? I hate that bitch. They cross their sta staves um, and uh, say, halt. The church is currently conducting a, uh, an operation in the area. We need to check every passerby. Um, you can see that Lear kind of trots up naturally and says, We are the holy ones here. I have myself and another Azamar uh, coming back from a mission. You must, by the, our laws, make way for us. And you can see that they immediately uh, recognize who he is. He's got a very strong, holy light about them, and you can kind of sense that with your divine sense if you have any sort of paladin training. Uh, and they immediately are like, oh, oh, yes, holy one, we were told to expect you. Uh, uh, make way. Are, the, are these uh, people with you? Um, Lear's going to look over at Apollos, and he's going to... He has respect, it seems, for Apollos, because Apollos is somewhat known in, in uh, more of the espionage circles. <laughs> Um, you can assume at least, and then he's going to look at the rest of Not you guys. Good. Well, no, Being I mean, known in the espionage circles. Oh, I mean, in the oh, sense that you, <laughs> this is fantasy world, okay? You're known for being like doing daring raids and stuff like that. You're not necessarily known as a spy. He's not. He's not okay. a spy. He's like a. He's a. He's an okay. operative, if right. that makes sense. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no, it's no. fine. Also, James Bond's the best spy, and he tells everyone his name. Yeah, no, he's a bad spy. <laughs> Um, he, uh, you can see that, uh, he looks over at, uh, Yu Zin and, and, uh, kind of as, like, a questioning and, like, you know, nods to the other. Emp is, uh, not nodding a lot. He's like... Okay, yeah, he sees that Zin didn't get it, so he just looks at Emp and he's like, okay, fine. Um, and... I didn't hear you. He, he didn't say anything. Too he late. just... He nodded, he... No, sorry. He he nodded at the others and was like looking at you questioningly, but um Okay, yeah, he just he's like, okay, fine. Um he didn't want to get into this right here. Uh so he's like, all right, yeah, just come on. Um you guys start going and you see a large collection of right outside what looks like a town gate. Um it says uh, as you approach, there's some signs, uh, like a welcome to uh, Monaria, but it has the like last two letters kind of falling off, like the sign's a little damaged. Um, it's kind of split a little bit, uh, some of the wood's flaking. Um, as you get closer, you see there's some wagons overturned, uh, and there's uh, the smell of smoke and ash in the air, um, and just a lot of upturned soil you can kind of smell that uh and mud um and as you get closer you see there's a large contingent of of uh church paladins that are there um and zin give me a perception check real quick oh i rolled well 30 20 um you see a fairly tall short dark haired um paladin who has the markings of uh the order that you are a part of the uh fiery heart 
um, or Blazing Heart, I believe. Um, and you do recognize this person as Iman. Oh, stupid bitch. I don't say that, but I think that. Well, I am or something. I just don't say bitch. Lynn's a good boy. Sometimes. <laughs> um, so are we strolling up to him, or do we just see him in the distance? You kind of see him, like, you know, a decent bit away, but, like, I mean, in, if you, like, start retreating, he's going to notice you, but if you come no, up... No, I in... just didn't know if I should insult him now or when the clothes are ahead. Okay, yeah, if you're going to do that, then, I mean, you can ready an insult, say, save an action to ready an insult. Yeah. Um, yeah if, I'm if you kind of going to scoff right now when I see him. <laughs> do you, so you want to do it when you're in scoffing range so he can hear you? Yeah, yeah, I'll scoff. I'll be in scoffing range. Um... Do you want to roll for intimidate on that? Oh yeah, I think I get a bonus and shit because of my type of paladin. I like. What is sure, my roll, roll with advantage. What is it? No, oh yeah, I have a conquering presence. It's like some kind of scary. Scary boy. Okay, so that's better. That's... Sorry, illuminated heart is the uh, is the is the order that you're in. Okay. Uh, what was that? That was twenty two. All right, give me give me your best scoff. Come on, let's let's. No, <laughs> wait, that's the coffee. Oh, can't scoff. Mm-hmm. You're putting me on pressure. I started coughing. <laughs> Sonny, put that in uh, in the quote of the day, please. Also, hi Max. Um, sorry, he will he will be silent, the silent watcher as ever. Um, <laughs> who just made a mess? Huh? What? Never mind. Um, as you 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 scoff mm. at your at your. F- Okay, so that was Reese. Um, as as you scoff at your your uh, bitter rival, uh, you can see that he turns around and he's like, "Who said that?" Oh, well, well, well. If it isn't Zin, you're not allowed to talk to me like that. Oh, but I am. Mm-hmm. As you can see, I've earned my chain too. As he lifts his arm up and shows that he's also gotten uh, the brand of the order. Uh, don't forget your place, human. I am your God-given superior. I, res- I demand your respect. You Since you want also your respect, Eb says this out loud. All right, be quiet, talking rat. He says real quick, and he's gonna go back to uh, looking at Zen, and he's going to be like. As, since you rolled so high on Intimidate, she's going to be like, all right, you might be right that you are angel given to us, and I, I shall respect that. He grits his teeth a little bit. But, as you can see, he kind of pulls off a little bit of his cloak on his right shoulder, and you can see that he has a mini shield on his right shoulder that denotes him of being Templar status, which is a slightly, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's the first rank after Initiate. So he is technically now uh, a higher rank than you in terms of the order, uh, but you still technically outrank everyone because you are an Asmar. So it's still like a little bit of a petty, petty like, yeah, I kind of outrank you technically. Um, I'm the way. So I mean, in practically, no, he doesn't. In terms of actually, like, no, I know. Given ranks, he does at the moment. I, I completely disregard it. I disregard it. I just like don't pay attention to it, and I go. <laughs> So what's happened here? Explain you, yourself. You can see it's that gone downhill. Seriously, we're not even. Right. We're not no, even. That wasn't that, ab, that was that was just Reese um, being sassy. Uh, Iman in his prayers says, "We aren't even on a hill, Angel." Stupid. <laughs> on a hill. What? He's saying that to Iman is reaching across the plains to be a dick. Um. He, um, he, he, you can see that he is like forcefully pushing his collarbone out to show the shield a little bit more while he's talking and like straining his neck a little bit. He's popping his chest as well, trying to cool. They're kind of having like, what's I feel like that's something birds do where they go kind of like 
Like, I like mean, a- yeah. I feel like that's what they're both doing. That's the vibe this I'm is, getting. This is classic macho macho posturing, uh, of course. Yeah. These people are petulant children. Now, he's going to say, I've been put in charge here by Torin. Uh, if you will take a look, though, as we, I will explain the situation. Um, we've been carrying out... Uh, Purges in the hinterland of Templon, as there's been some corruption uh, in the in the villages in the uh, countryside. Uh, we've recently purged this village uh, of all taint. Hopefully, we're still doing our final checks. Um, but last night, it was at least sixty percent of the village was put to the torch. And he see that he lowers himself and he says, uh, "May be cleansed in holy fire and be sent to the angel." Uh, and a few others around him do the same, at least say, uh, do the motion without saying the, the actual phrase. Uh, but if you would like to take a moment, um, I could use some help uh, just covering the rest of it. If you want to see what great work we've done, uh, you can see that he's kind of trying to use this as a brag of sorts. He's trying to show off his work to Zen to, to show like, oh, you haven't purged any villages yet? Did you say that to me? Did he say that to me? No, but he's going to say this now. He's going to be like, I assume that you are on a similar mission. Have you uh, put any villages to the torch yet? Ebba looks away as if she, you know, hasn't been burning things. She puts that, she puts that a map. I've been doing Abba's much more. Ebba's head is on a swivel. Important work than what mere foot soldiers do. Uh, Lear's gonna hop down from his horse. He's gonna be like, enough squabbling. <sighs> Iman, we're in need of your forces. We're gonna commandeer them as soon as we're done with this small scale purge. It shouldn't have even taken you a night. <sighs> And you should, I don't even know what Torn was thinking, giving a, a recruit as green as you command of any soldiers. Now hurry up and let's see how well you've done. And if I swear, if I find a single ounce of corruption left, I will have Torn strip you of your shield. Mm-hmm. You can see that Iman cowers a little bit at this. And he's like, ah, uh, uh, yes, yeah, Sir Lear, I didn't see you there. Um, uh, of course, soldiers. Let's go uh, and starts uh, heading back over to the into the village with kind of renewed zeal. Um, all around you, you can kind of see that injured and displaced people are still um, just eyeing the rest of the church with a bit of some of them anger, a few of them with kind of neutral expressions. Some of them seem to be kind of grateful if if distressed. Um, and, uh, who's gonna head in with them? Does everybody think they're gonna follow them? Oh, and of course, obviously. I mean, I go with the boys. Also, Iman is going to look back and he's going to be like, since when do you need prescription? Huh? What? Hmm. Since when does the great Zin, he says, uh, in, a, in a sarcastic voice, need help with his eyes? Also, where did you get that scar in battle? My eye? Did she draw my face? I swear to fucking God. Did she draw well, my face? What did, you, what, did you, what did you do to check? Do you just put your hand on your face? Yeah, I kind of rub my face. What, what are you talking about? Uh, it comes away with a little bit of a black smut. <laughs> I'm going to like whip around and be like... Eb runs away. Eb is gone. <laughs> What did Ebb you hides. do? Eb hides behind Athens' cloak. Hmm. I don't know. I want to try and wrap her with my whip. No! <laughs> it's too late. Eb's already hiding. If you can beat a 27, you can find me. Here, we'll say, um, Eb, as you run away, uh, you, you see an old uh, granny in a little shack kind of in the uh, outer, like, near the wall of the village as you kind of enter immediately. She's like, oh, get in. It's not, it's not dangerous. It's dangerous out there. It's not safe. Okay. That follows. Stupid little... Um, 
you can see that she um, as soon as as soon as uh, you get in, she closes the door and she turns around and she's like, "That was a pretty good prank." Um, and she she pulls off her disguise to reveal that it's your aunt who now is sporting a rock and eye patch, uh, presumably after she got in a fight with Isha in the tunnels um, and lost uh, her eye, presumably. Um, uh, she looks at you now, like with a with a eye patch covering one face. Her or- orc features, um, otherwise doing all right. Uh, she's in um, espionage gear, a spy suit, a black spy suit, kind of looking, and uh, her granny skin suit falls to the uh, to the wayside as she's uh, looks at you. Um, she's like, "I'm glad to see you're safe." Ed. Oh, that's that's a, a suit. That's not disturbing. Oh, it no, it's okay to be disturbed by it. That's that's that comes with the territory. Um Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little disturbing. If it makes you feel any better, um I didn't skin a real granny for this. Um you skin shape changing demons. You just gotta trick them into looking like a, a friendly character and then they think that they're tricking you. But then what you're really doing is you're getting spy materials. It's very it it, it was a demon, is what I'm trying to say. It was it was a demon. For sure, for sure. Eb's writing this down, but trying to look like she's not writing it down. I mean, you can write it down. That actually was kind of what I was here about. I mean, flay training I is a little bit later. Well, okay, I wasn't here about flaying demons, but Eb, she kneels down, and she's like, I'm glad to see that you're safe. Um, not super great that we're meeting around all of these church people, but um, I wanted to say that I was proud of what you did in the tunnel. I mean, I was pretty proud of my artistic skills too. I think Zin's face looks great right now. Uh, oh, okay, yes, that was that was great. As I said, um, was we're talking about the whole moral quandary. You got, okay? <clears throat> oh, the tunnel. I just I felt so bad for that small little lizard dragon man. He was so angry, and without the top hat, he didn't look nearly as intimidating. Well. Wait, Tom? Oh, wait. I am so co- okay. This is this is rare. I'm not usually this confused. I'm talking about the the admission to murder. Remember? Oh, I'm sorry. It's been a really rough couple of days. Well, yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's yeah, it's been a couple of days at least since we've last seen each other. Um, it is good to hear that you've also done other things that you were felt bad about and we're trying to make better. That is a good sign, but uh, no, she's... no, I wasn't. I, I no. but you just said, no, no, all evil here. She's going to like scrunch up her face and like a very confused look. And it'd be like, she's going to grab your shoulders and like shake you. And she's like, Ab, listen to me. Okay. You're a good person deep down. I know how scary that is, but you need to accept it. Or at least I need to accept it. I need you to remember who your parents were. They were from my family, and I need to know that the last thing they left on Earth wasn't evil. I know that's a lot of pressure to put on you. Yes, I... Couldn't keep seeing Doro and accepting her help while knowing what I knew about her husband. Good. You made the right choice and I'm proud of you. And it's okay to be evil, but to the right people, if you want to think about it like that. You're, you can still be bad, but you don't have to be bad, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, so like... I murder murderers, I'm actually, you know, removing one more murderer from the world. Again, that's true. Um, You're a little younger than I would have liked to have taught you that lesson, but that's, you know what, we gotta, we gotta go where we're going. I I like this uh, positive attitude. I'm appreciating. It's good. But she kneels down closer to you and she's like, Eb, I think, go. I think it's time we talked about what it means to be part of our clan. And uh, 
the ghosts, Eb. I know you can see them. And there's a reason for that, and I'm going to tell you. Right after this, da 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 da, da. Um, and we're going to shift away from from them. Uh, and Reese, if you would like, it is time for you to go. Um, I it was a little later than I thought. Um, sorry about that, but I will let you get out of here. Um, I figured once it was getting mysterious that you were going to be like, "All right, see ya." But I do appreciate it because I'm I'm tired and I've got to. I want to finish some more of the translation before class yeah. tomorrow. So wouldn't wanna <laughs> be ya. Get him out of here. Get him out. Come on, that's enough. Get on. Come on. It's time for you to go, Max. Fucking make it strong. Um. So yeah, you. Okay, you... I'm gonna vote now, or I'll vote tomorrow after everything is done. I'll vote for mm -hmm. my quote because there will be more quotes. Sure. Um, I think this was great. I think this works as a good system for now. And uh, thank you very much for joining. But you get out of here because you're tired. Uh, it's nice to have you. It's always. It was really, it was fun. I'll see yeah. you guys next Wednesday. Yes. Wow. Bye. Um, so yeah, that, that was, uh, so the, the idea that we had that Cameron came up with, so if you're angry about it, uh, yell at him. Um, yeah, I'm going to hate you. I'm so sad. I didn't get to have like many like M moments. Well, I mean, like, doing on a Apple. day where I mean, Cameron, Cameron isn't around much. Like, why? What about that? I say we kill him. I, I say we all kill Cameron, not in D and D, in real life. Oh shit! Um, oh I say shit! We kill Cameron, you can try. Bring it. <laughs> I think if we keep Adam alive. That's the. I betrayed your Jedi arts, but. <laughs> no. Uh, no the Max, who would, what if we do is we capture Cam and we keep him alive and we let someone else play Atham? Who would be the worst person to, to let, let take over Cameron's character? <laughs> are you saying that more, Cello? But I know Why are you talking. pointing at me when you're the obvious answer? You make him into a churchgoer. Oh. The church is cool. I was thinking, I was gonna nominate no you. No gold, back. not cool. You are like the most anti Atham person ever. So I was like, I thought I was gonna give you that, but okay. He you really is biased, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. Listen, um, I, I'm just chaotic evil. If I can cause greater suffering by bumping the responsibility off onto someone else, I will. You're chaotic neutral at, at worst. No, no, he's evil. <sighs> no. All right, fine. If you want to be both, have him be evil. Fine. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not. It's, it's not up for debate. It's a fact. Evil Atham? Atham is evil. I knew it. Well, I thought you were talking about Max. Oh no! Like Max, the person, or Marcella? Yes. No, me, the person. Marcella <laughs> gonna... is, is true neutral. I am okay. chaotic evil. That's what I was going to say. That makes more sense. To me. Yeah. Marine biologists are always any sort of evil. It can be lawful, neutral, or chaotic, but they're always evil. We're getting off track. Uh, yeah. I don't know. This seems like we're finally on track, really. All right, but no, we are. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit more. Um, I don't want to go too much past um, how much time we had with Eb before, because like, I don't want to cheat anyone out of stuff. But we'll return to Atham and, um, Atham and Zinn. Um, Atham, I guess, just how are you feeling? You're now kind of alone with you and Apollos um, are like kind of the only two neutral people besides um, the, the church or the, uh, the, the, the people of Menaria um, who were there before the church got there. And um, I don't know, you're kind of kind of in deep with this whole church purge thing now. So I don't know how are you feeling. What's 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 uh, Atham's mind? Oh, there are many, many things on Atham's mind. Um, yeah. Although his, his face betray, betrays none of it. Uh, he's impassive, but he is studying everything around him. Okay. We'll go back to Zen then. Um, am I, so, why is this church meeting? Is that what's going on? Or am I standing outside? 
Oh, well, there's not necessarily like a huge church meeting at the moment. Uh, they're kind of doing a sweep of the area to um, to check for any leftover corruption. And there might be like a church meeting once Lear and Atham, or sorry, Lear and Zin and um, Cyril and Iman are able to kind of get alone if that's possible. Then they might have like a quick meeting. But you, you also have a chance to talk to Lear if you want to try and saddle up to him. Uh, but look, Zin seems to have a question. What's up? I have a question. And so, how is Zin? Is he still like hung? Like, what is up with him? Like, I just remember he was on the horse. He was like hung over or asleep. Like, what? Oh, well, Cyril, Cyril was about to wake up. I was about to have him do that. Like, that was the next thing that was going to happen. I just wanted to ask Cameron what was going on first. So we'll say that Cyril starts to wake up. And he's like, oh, oh. Be bouncing. He's good. Oh, he's gonna. Uh, I was in. Where are we? No clue. Except this bastard decided to show up. And point Not over at Iman, I guess. Yeah. Not even doing his job right. Check it for him. Uh. Iman is going to, uh, you know, look back and kind of like just glare at Zin. Um, so he's going to be like, oh, oh, gee, oh, geez. And he's going to look around at like kind of the devastation around him where, you know, burned out husks of huts, um, houses that are have been kind of torn apart. And, you know, there's there is some evidence now that you guys are going in that there are um, a lot of the streets have been turned to mud from all the horses and people running around. Um, and actually, you guys can start seeing that there are dead bodies that are being dragged through the streets, um, and they're in various states. Uh, some of them are, like, completely black um, in terms of, like, there's, like, bile and corruption on them. They look like this kind of the zombies that you fought in uh, Basa. Um, others are just kind of... Um, some of them look almost completely normal, except for the wounds they've suffered. Others look like they're kind of in a midway state. So it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see a lot of the paladins are dragging them around and throwing them on pyres uh, of white fire. Um, a lot of them are kind of uh, searching through houses. They're, they've got clipboards kind of tallying certain things and making a list. They're talking to families. Uh, and there is, um, you do notice that there are is a like a triage area for um, a lot of the um wounded that seem to be de deemed worthy uh of saving um that the clerics and some of the paladins are helping with uh that are treating in different areas like just kind of white tent tented areas um we, oh sorry go ahead i'm just gonna ask do we get clarification on what what is going on here what caused the event um so you know what happened? No, you don't know the full extent of what it is. You can tell that there was some corruptive influence, but to, to why or when you have, you might have to ask someone. Um, Cyril's gonna snap his fingers real quick, and a ball of water will peel above his head and fall on it, and just like kind of shake his head. And he says, "Oh, that feels better." Uh, also, grab a, a flask of water and start drinking from it. Uh, Have I rubbed off all the, the stuff that I face? Uh, he's going to look at you. Get, give me a... Oh, God, what check would it be? Um, medicine oh, check? I guess it's... Oh, no, I like that. Okay, yeah, he's going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah I got you, I got you. And he's going to be like, just hold out his hand above yours and like a little uh, small, a mini torrent of water comes down, falls into your cup of hands. I said, here, that should be some good purifying water. I should get it all off, yeah. Yeah. And then you got some on your you got some on your cheek right there. Like she, she did. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, there, there. Yeah, yep. Okay, yeah, you got it. Yeah, okay, cool. <sighs> Eb. Yeah. Uh, Eb. Like Eb did that. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. I figured. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well. Well. I'll. I'm assuming that's why she's not with us right now. Uh, he's gonna look around and he's gonna be like, he's gonna see Apollos, Atham, you, uh, Lear. Um, were you about to ask, uh, were you about to ask anything or did you wanna, are you trying to figure out what happened here? Kind of? 
was going to ask exactly like so what exactly occurred here what, where was the beginning of this section was, and what is this current status um you can see that um Iman, you know, slows up a bit, and he's like, "Ah, oh, yes. Well, we had gotten some reports of abominations in the area, and we had investigated. Uh, when myself and my contingent arrived early in the evening yesterday, we discovered a few on the outskirts of town and slew them. Uh, and as we moved inward, we discovered that some of the townsfolk had been infected, and a few had turned to zomb zombification, actually. Um... As we got closer, as you, uh, as I'm sure you know, that because of the plague wars, zombification is a hard to put down uh, plague in the in Temple on, and we must stamp it out fiercely whenever it has shown up. Um, I said you knew how long. I'm sorry, my leave. I you had you had pallid and parmas in your face. I couldn't understand what she said. No, oh, me. I don't know. Are you saying that in character with your mouthful, or are you saying it out of character with your mouthful? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know my mouthful was too. I didn't know it was too. Okay, I was just gonna be like, what did I say? I said something. I was like, oh, and it took you this. But I, but I, I continue. Give us the report. I'm just kind of like stop. Uh, we've okay. purged the entire village within a night, and that's usually quite considered fast, but. I guess some of us don't read reports. Anyway, um, we tracked the uh, source of infection to this as he goes over to the center of town and points to a fountain, uh, a spring fountain that into the groundwater. Um, as you can see, you can see that a few of the paladins are kind of getting ready to like dismantle the area. They're uh, setting fire to things. They're digging up parts of it. Um, and uh, you can see that there's bits of black ichor that, um, similar to the goo you saw in the underscape, uh, just kind of pouring out of it a little bit. It's dripping now more than it's flowing, but uh, it's still there. Um, and Is there a way I could do my magic to make it? Like, do we like? I'm guessing. So it's the goo, the the, the goo that was put to the water. Is this the goo that we put that was put into the water by those the little guys that we slaughtered, or is it just a different instance? Like back uh, in Roll a investigation check. But I do this as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, what do you know? And not very what? good. Even I though I know, <laughs> I know in my brain. Oh, that's a nice question. Twenty-seven. Win. Twenty-seven and a. I'll give you advantage, by the way, so because you got that right off the bat. Um, so See, I'm great. Can, I think Zin deserves a little bit yeah. of a bigger thing. So. Yeah, I'm giving you. I'm giving you an advantage here. Yeah, fourteen minus one. Oh god. Okay, so yeah, Zin, Zin, yeah, you think that, and yeah, it, it, you do remember that these are um, groundwater wells and uh, such fountains, whatever you want to call them, and uh, you remember that Cyril actually mentioned that the type of water that you guys were fighting near that one time, he mentioned that it was um, clean water that is the type that's usually pumped up for drinking purposes, so uh, you can put two and two together and you can you can say this if you'd like to have your big moment. Uh, Iman doesn't really seem to know anything about that. Well, what did I say before? I said it. Uh, <laughs> This must have been from when in the Underdark. Kobolds try to poison the water. Cyril, is there any way that we could purify it? Like, no, wait, stop it. You're right. This this is the thing that they were they were um they must have been doing. That's what you're that you uh, uh, gloop up. Yes, the mushroom did eat the gloop. Huh. Well, I mean, it it's possible, and we've stopped most of the rats, I assume, especially if, um, that seem to be doing the, the gloop attacks, if you want to call them that. So maybe we could purify it. Seems like we slaughtered all of them. Was... Mm -hmm. uh, we, we should tell Iman and Lear. 
Yes, we should. <laughs> um, so you can call them over real quick um, if you'd like. Or what, what do you say to both of them? They're kind of close enough to you. What do I say to come? We're just going to, like, here. Just come here. So Cyril and I can explain it. I don't know how to explain it, Cyril. He's like, I... I explained like, it just good then, and I think... Yeah. Um... So Iman and uh, Lear and uh, Cyril and, and Zin, you guys can kind of just like, uh, Lear's going to jump down and after you guys kind of explain it, he's going to be like, hmm. Here, we've got the chapel over there. Why don't we discuss this as a church matter amongst ourselves inside? Um, Before he goes, yeah. uh, it's been enough time. I want uh, Iban to make three intelligence saving throws. I'm just going to comb his memories. Uh, okay. I only need him to fail one, so just let me know. I just, I just want... Uh, well, let me know if he fails two or more. He's gonna... He's gonna fail two. Nice. Uh, past 24 hours. Um... So, I mean, you can see that uh, if you overheard anything he was saying, pretty much everything that he just mentioned is, in fact, the truth. He was given a command of a group of the paladins and some of the Church of the um, uh, Purity's uh, basic foot troops. Um, they were combing the area for abominations, and they did find some. They don't look like anything that you can see in his memories. doesn't seem to be anything like high level if that makes sense like nothing nothing of too big importance um right you in the memories you see him cutting them down uh, a lot of the other paladins cutting them down they get to the village and they cut down a lot of the zombies you can see that in his memories the things do start to take a darker turn when some people who are either very marginally contaminated or almost maybe not even contaminated are maybe with just in the same house as somebody who was um start getting um some of them get cut down some of them are executed uh in a very merciless way um and there was kind of a there's a period of terror in the middle of the night when uh it kind of becomes uncertain whether the uh church is performing a purge or a slaughter of some of the inhabitants because it's kind of hard to talk, tell zombie per person and who they're killing and some of the bodies definitely look like they didn't really have too much corruption uh all the way into kind of uh the current situation where these people are being shepherded out. Um, and he gives a order to those that who have lost their homes that um, they can go to New Xanter or wherever else they would like, uh, but they're potentially shutting the village down for the corruption in the wells being too much to have um, <laughs> any, any corruptions in the wells making a, a settlement here infeasible. Um, and that's pretty much takes us to now. Right. Okay. Well, that seems about pretty standard. Um, okay, yeah, that's about all I had. If they are going off on their own, um, I guess I'm just going to walk around the town. Well, Apollos is actually going to jump off, um, his horse, and he's going to say real quick that, um, <laughs> God damn it, you two. Um, he's going to jump off his horse and be like, ugh, this actually might be a good time. Gideon said that he wanted me to have a meeting with you whenever I had got a chance to talk to you alone, so maybe we should do that real quick. Good, I'll find us a private area. All right, that sounds good. Uh, we'll cut back to um, the four of the higher-ups in the church, um, and we'll, si we'll say that um, Iman is going to be the opponent here. He seems like, well, it doesn't matter what we know of this rat man you apparently encountered in the Underdark, but if that's what you want to call it, but... I say that this village needs to be purged completely. Whoever's surviving and free of taint, we should send away and raise this city to the ground and make sure nobody else taps into this water. Um, Cyril, the humanitarian, on the other hand, is going to rebut, but we know that the, the contamination has been stopped and the rest of the water can be cleaned. If we call in some of my order, we can purify the water. That's what we do. Um, 
water and its purity has always been sacred to the church. You can't just kick an entire village out. There's still hundreds of people here. And he's, um, he's going to say, it's always best to cut the corruption out quickly rather than give this village a slow death, Cyril. They're all going to look to you. Uh, Cyril's going to look at you as well as Lear. And he's going to be like, Sin, we've got to do something, right? Well, what do you think? No, oh, no, I have to make a decision. Oh, mm. oh anyways. <laughs> Listen, these are important decisions. So maybe the church cares more about the little people than, than the, the order, than the um, some people do. You're going to really have it that the, the church is the bigger humanitarian south? Are you going to take that? I'm trying. I'm not there. I don't have to. <laughs> I'm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what Zin would do. What uh, w w uh, x uh, x d? <laughs> what? Well, you don't know w w j d is like what people like religious people have on their wrists. Like, what would Jesus do? I thought. Okay. See, I I for a second I thought you were think I was thinking of like a like a web browser like www dot xd like like the xd oh yeah, yeah like like the, the the thing like the laughing face exactly <laughs> okay um okay what does it do well he knows that the water can be pure And it might save. I know I know it might save the church further, like more people hating it, or to lose his side, or something like that. But Zin isn't someone who's going to care about what the people think, other than purging demons. I think. His decision is going to allow the clerics to try and cleanse the water, but for now we will basically move everyone out and up brute one to stop the purge they have. I'm going to give them like a few days. Or a little bit. Like just a little bit to see if they can fix the water thing. If not, the entire I will Zim will stand up with the Lear and Emon and Raise the city to the wind. That is his duty. So I want to I want to hear real quick what you um what you um you say to them. Yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, we know the source can. We know we can save the source with. Out risking men and energy trying to raise all of this town to the ground. However, I agree with Lear that we have to stop before anything gets worse. So I propose we let Cyril and some more of the clerics, we call them in, try and see if they can purify the water in within two maybe maybe three days at most if they can't we're just going to do go ahead with destroy the city we will get the people out who are not infected first and if we can't cleanse in that time we'll do much. Iman's gonna be like quite the elaborate plan uh, Lear is going to quickly cut him off, though, and say, "There's one problem, Zin. Mm. We don't have a few days. We've got to make it back to the New Zanter before the sealing ceremony comes." <sighs> When's wait? When is what day is today? When is the sealing ceremony? There's something yeah. I should tell you, and that's where we're going to cut it off. Yay! 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 We're gonna have to see if what Zin decides next week. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And Athum. Okay, we could just force Cyril to do his magic really fast, and if he can't, bye bye, bye bye. Oh boy! 
I can't wait until until Zin holds a gun to Cyril's head. It's like, you're the purify the fucking water right now. Get water, kid, please. Oh my god, no. Drink the goo. It's delicious. Cyril's gonna be like, you know, Cyril was here. He could drink all the goo. Cyril's gonna be like, you know, that mushroom really did like this goo. Maybe I should try it. And Zin's holding a gun to my head. Maybe I should. Um, yeah, I think that's where we're going to cut it off for this week. Um, Atham, I'm sorry that, uh, we didn't get to a lot of your stuff. Uh, I'm going to say our hour and a half meeting yesterday counts as part of your thing for the, today. Uh, what kind enough. of monster cuts it off at a cliffhanger? Like, ugh. Well, okay. this... Th- we're going through a big transition here, guys. We've got to change our format, and we, I've got to now restructure how to do things. So, what is everyone's free time on Fridays? I know we said Fridays don't work, but like she just specified what time because we can figure that out as well. Because I'm free Fridays anytime after one. He's gonna stop. I mean, I'm good pretty much most times. I definitely know a this Friday doesn't work because we have the root game, but I guess that doesn't really matter because we just had a second. Um, I for, also owe you uh, weapons. Yeah, next Friday doesn't work for me. I owe you weapons. I will get those to you at some point. Uh, but not for this Friday, because I have to fuck them up, and, and then and then we can do your you, you, we can do your sessions. That's fine. Yeah, I mean that's I I don't think Fridays are gonna work because I assume a like. I, I feel like didn't last semester anyway that you you usually were doing stuff on Fridays too. Like you usually would want to do stuff with your friends. I mean, like later on afterwards, but like I can because since Reese is on pizza time, pizza time, we would have to be earlier in the day anyways. That's true. What? So wait, Cameron, is your day like day classes Tuesday and Thursday? Tuesday, Thursday, I have a class that starts at uh, two and goes till. Just before four, really. Perfect. Um, you should run it. You should run it from two to four on Thursday. <laughs> you don't have to do it. Sa- same on Tuesday. Tuesday. I am done with classes on Tuesday and Thursdays at roughly roughly like ten a.m. No, no, not ten. Eleven. Um, East Coast time. So if we manage to figure out something, we we can run it. Earlier in the like, it might be early. I have uh, the class at uh, nine a.m. till till uh, eleven on uh, on Tuesday. No, like, but aren't you well. in? Yeah. Oh shoot! What? Wait, what time zone? You're in. You're so, an hour behind, right? Yeah. yeah uh, no, I'm I'm in Chicago time. Yeah, so that's an hour behind me, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So if he's done by four, that's five our time. Yeah. But if he's done with class at. So 11, I start class at I start time. class at ten your time. Get home around twelve your time. Twelve, twelve to. We could do something well, at noonish. Yeah. Is this is this, this Friday we're talking about? No, on Thursday. Tuesday, yeah, Thursday. I, I could do stuff during the. I suppose I could do stuff from like. Yeah, twelve till two. Um, yeah, and it might be tight. It'll be it'll be it'll be tight, but I wouldn't have anything going on. I would just have. I to mean, lunch, that's not a problem. I could do that if we wanted to. I mean, if that's if that's what people would prefer. Um, Why don't we do uh, um, one of those chart things that we like we did for uh, uh, diplomacy? Yeah, I'll do that. Um, but I I will say at the same time, like I know this was a little like funky, but I I, I think that it will work out. This I think this will work out decently if we can't find anything else. Like I don't think this is gonna end up being too bad. Um I know it's a little annoying that you got here late. Um but Wait, Ev, uh Reese was saying that she can also usually go later, but just today, this week it's been exhausting. Yeah, I let her go early because uh I let her. I I, I felt bad because she looked obviously exhausted. Like when we first signed out, she looked yeah. like she was fucking out of it, man. Like I didn't want to make her do yeah. But okay. so in, in future I assume we're probably gonna go yeah, probably like an extra hour, but 
Yeah, which, which brings so. us up to a normal time. Okay. Yeah. So I'm 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 fine with that. I just wanted to make sure that like mm-hmm. it wasn't like me having to like you know miss Reese and the end parts. Like bar- like I barely had time with mm-hmm. it. and I so, you know I love my Zid and Ev interactions as much as Zin hates them. I think they're funny. I think this. Oh, but like my also my point here is also as well that I was talking about with the other stuff. I was talking about with the two earlier is that. Um, this helps you guys be honest about um, not hearing when the others are doing something, like because you guys don't like to talk to each other, but you do like to know what's going on with the others because it's you know it's very sweet sundere shit. But at the same time, um, it is nice when characters. I think it's a sign of a D and D player's maturity when you can hear something but have your character act like they didn't hear it, even though it's to your. It's not. It's not something that's good for you. So like something like this was funny because she you were passed out and if if you had heard that Ev had drawn on you, you might have been like, oh, there's some shit on my face immediately, and then choked Ev out and killed her, and so that would have been crazy, man. But now we actually had a pretty funny reveal that was very Dude, genuine. That worked out really well. I was like, oh, fucking hell! Like I knew the second he said it, I was like, what? Oh no, because no, that was good. That was yeah, no, I guess that does make sense. Also, for the, I don't know if we want to keep little, the little man still in the chat, but, um, Craig, but Sean, should we, did you guys start, like, filming stuff for, like, what you want to do for, like, a, the recap episode thing? Uh, Cameron's, uh, filmed his thing, or recorded his thing. Um, yeah, first draft, yeah. If you want, I mean, the, the entire thing is, first draft, it's, it doesn't have to be that serious, man. It's 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 all. Oh no! Just I need I need your lore approval. That's uh, oh, that's right. That's yeah, the draft part. Yeah. I, mean, um, I want to do it. I want to start like it, Sean. I was just wondering if you wanted to be because you know it's fun. It's exciting. I I have been sh- sharing the podcast with friends, and they like it. I just have to tend to explain. They're like, wait, I didn't get that. I was like, oh wait, shoot, I forgot we didn't talk about this thing and that thing. So yeah. So the so that would be fun. The recap, the, uh, here's what the plan is, is that each of us will record one and I will record like the objective one. So it's, I want you all to do it from your perspective and what you can remember, because I think that will give a good in character thing. If you would like, then we can set a time this week. Uh, we could even do it tomorrow if you would like, where um, I come into the chat with you and you go over, you like, oh, I'm Zin, here's my backstory, here's what I remember from the stuff. And if you want to ask me any questions while doing it, I can do that with you. Or if you want to do it solo and just put Craig in the chat and I'll be silent. Um, and then we can upload it like that. That will also work. Um, yeah. I kind of want to do it with you in here. I'll probably have to ask you stuff or whatnot. But I, fine. and like just how to get the vibe of what it is. And also because I can't put Craig in and Jacob now. Yeah. So yeah, we can do that. That'll be good. And it's it that'll just be a super easy way to do it. Um for reference, Cameron's was like what? Yours was like six, eight minutes, right? I think. Eight minutes, yeah. Yes. Um, so it shouldn't take that long at all. And um you guys can explain how much lore you want about your related fields, like if you want to talk about the Order of the Sun or the Church of Purity, that's up to you guys. I'll let you do whatever you want. Um just remember that uh People are listening to this, I guess. It'll be nice for our guest stars to 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 hear it. Um, and then um, 